Persepolis, city of the Persians, is located within what is today the Iranian province of Fars, in a fertile plain surrounded by mountains. These ruins, the former residence of the Achaemenid Empire, are one of the greatest and most impressive palace complexes in the world. Here were mighty gateways, extensive barracks, reception and audience halls, as well as royal palaces. This is the most important architectural legacy of the first Persian Empire, which had its heyday between the 6th and 4th centuries BC. Darius the Great began construction of his ceremonial capital city shortly after he had attained power as the third emperor of Persia. Although he already had two capital cities, Pasargadere and Susa, he wanted to present to the world a third impressive city. During several decades of construction, the glorious total work of Persian Achaemenid art was achieved. The Gate of All Nations is the main entrance to the royal residence. Winged, human-headed bulls guard the city gates. Huge pillars line this former military street which contains the barracks and leads to the Hall of a Hundred Columns and the Apadana Palace. Flat reliefs on the sides of the city's ceremonial steps depict various processions and also martial motifs that emphasize great power. On the most important holiday of the year, the Spring Festival on March 21st, the satraps of the Persian Empire were allowed entry to the King's Palace. Numerous envoys paid homage to the King of Kings. A wide staircase leads up to the Apadna. The dimensions of the huge audience hall must have been huge. A 70 meter long relief on the eastern stairway of the portico depicts a number of envoys of the 28 nations of the Achaemenid's empire. Babylonians, Elamites, Armenians, Ethiopians, Syrians, Indians and many more in national clothing and head attire. <music> Mythical creatures in stone such as lion griffins and horse heads lie scattered around. They once supported the roofs of various halls. Everywhere, the glory of Persepolis, a monument of both power and greatness. 
The reliefs on stairways and doors present a vibrant impression of court life and the Nawaz Spring Festival. Today, two and a half millennia later, these precious fragments and well-preserved reliefs on the walls and steps reflect a truly glorious era. An era when the vast Persian Empire extended from the Danube to the Indus and from the steppes of Central Asia to the Nile. Darius was succeeded by his son Xerxes, who had further palaces built, as well as the remarkable Hall of a Hundred Columns. The reliefs would most likely have been painted with bright colors and framed by exquisite tiles. For 58 years, Ionic stonemasons, Babylonian brickmakers, Median and Egyptian goldsmiths worked in Persepolis. They created what was an indelible symbol of the Achaemenid Empire. The Hall of a Hundred Columns could hold 10,000 people. Monumental gates mark the adjoining treasure house. The greatest empire of the ancient world presented itself at its most glorious. Today, its gold, silver, ivory and marble are long gone. The highest level contained the royal residences, with living rooms, a fire temple and harem. Numerous servants attended to each aspect of royal life. The view from here must have been breathtaking. Above the palace plateau is the rock tomb of Artaxerxes II, fifth ruler of the dynasty. Two more followed until Macedonian Alexander the Great first occupied and then destroyed the city. Today, cleared of rubble and sand, its former glory can be imagined in full. Persepolis the Magnificent.